A police officer's body cam captured the end of Daniel Shaver's life in a hotel hallway in 2016. Go back in the small, your back or down. We are going to shoot you. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Crawl towards me. Shaver was intoxicated. He cried as he crawled. When he reached toward his waist, an officer shot him five times. He was not armed. The officer was charged with murder and found not guilty in criminal court. But after a six and a half year civil battle, the city where that officer worked agreed to pay Shaver's widow and daughters $8 million. To me, it does equate to some level of accountability and justice. Lainey Sweet moved out of Texas, away from the Granberry home she shared with her husband, where she talked to WFAA days after he died. Shaver was on a business trip in Mesa, Arizona. Hotel guests called police because they thought they saw a man with a rifle. Pellet guns that Shaver used for his pest control business were in his room, not on his body. The money is for two daughters who have to grow up without dad. But Sweet says the message it sends is for other families to not give up on justice. Uh, this is the highest verdict for a deceased victim in the state of Arizona. So that sets the bar, you know, in Arizona higher up for future victims. Because unfortunately, as much as I wish police would stop killing people, it's going to continue to happen. In Dallas, I'm Teresa Woodard.